Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Paladin in the arena. We have two wins so far, no losses, so let's keep going just like that. First we against a Paladin. And we have our mad scientist, but sadly we don't have any secrets for it. Hmm, do we keep it? <laughs> I'd like, I'm kind of thinking like if we keep it, it'll also make her a little bit annoyed because well, she doesn't know if it has a secret or not. She might even do something like play an owl on it. You know what? Let's just keep it. I could have tossed it and hope for like a better two drop, but I just like the scare factor as well. I'm not gonna use a coin to get it out though. Alright, let's see what she does. Huh. That's not good, is it? No, it's not. We don't want to be frozen. Oh, that's the worst. We have two weapons in hand and everything. How do we do this? Maybe play a mech warper. And then... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking she will do everything she can to kill this mech warper. Hopefully attack it with the... Oh boy. Well, that didn't work. Oh man, we need access to our weapons. Okay, you know what? So here's my new plan. <laughs> well, uh... Oh man, oh, but it's not that good. Messing things up. If only we could just kill it with a true silver here. Like we can, if we don't use the coin with the silver hand knight, but it's like, are we gonna play master for battle? Um. Let me think. <laughs> okay. Oh, are we gonna play? The Brewmaster plus the Mad Scientist? I just... I don't know. This is terrible. And the thing is, okay, so either... I mean, she probably kills the Mads, but then... We have some options, right? We have two weapons. We just need to get rid of that as fast as possible. I could have played Master and then play Silverhand Knight next turn. Oh, I'm so happy now. I'm so happy we got rid of that one. She doesn't even know how much I hated that Chaka Chaka. Okay, so now we can play a true silver champion. And sure, we haven't had very efficient trades here, but we cleared the board. We have a true silver up. Sure, she has a slight tempo advantage, but at least we do have a weapon up. And we have some uh, good stuff we can play soon, like the Silver Hand Knight. Okay. Well. Oh. Hmm. I'm actually tempted to play the shield bot here. Because, well, it has two life, two attack, right? Whereas the Silver Hand Knight, she can just run that in. Yeah. And then we have. But then again, ah, you know what? I think Silver Hand Knight is better. Yeah, then we can save the weapon possibly for something else. She can't do too much this turn other than play spells. Well, sure, she can play some cheap minions, but... Oh, a spell. Hmm. Is, is that even worth it? Yeah. She's like thinking about it, but... Yeah, because I'm just gonna run that into that anyway. That's pretty obvious. Alright, I wonder which secret it is. First, I guess we'll see if it's duplicate. Oh. Well, I might be copy minion, but not so happy about giving her mini butt. But hey, it beats the alternative of an ogre or a shredder. Let's go with this. Yeah, okay. It's fine. She paid three mana for that. 
She didn't really get to do very much last turn, just fire blasting our face and, and basically playing a mini bot. Another one. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Um. Oh, we can play this one. Then we can uh, keep a minion alive. Sure, she can just kill it with fire blast, but that's okay. Then she has to fire blast it at least. We could also save our... No, no, no. That, that's not gonna work. So let's do... That. 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 And we are in a decent spot, I would say. She fire blast that. She has six mana left, but we already have a pretty solid creature out here. She could play an ochre though. If she does that, maybe... Oh, Master is interesting also with the champion out. Yeah. Play that, that. Of course. Oh man, that's the... That's the risk of... Um, flame Strike. So, you know what, let's do this instead. Just so we're not so weak to flame strike. Uh, like I was thinking of doing like that, that, and heal power, but then she could just fire blast the Scarlet Crusader and clear the board with a flame strike. Not too enticing. Uh, Alright. Hmm. Um Right, run that into that, that into that. Again, we're setting ourselves up for flame strike, which is pretty unfortunate, but what can we really do about it? I hope to draw a consecration. <laughs> that's what I want to draw, but that's not in the deck, unfortunately. Oh, Fen Creeper. Hmm. All right. Well, if you play that. That's less weak to flame strike. I'm just that's a constant threat. And then let's do that that Like do I wanna kill one of those? Just because otherwise Okay, you know what? If she clears the board to flame strike, so be it. At least she will have to use all her mana to do it and her two minions. So then we can refill the board a bit. Blizzard. Okay. Not great, but hey, at least our Fen Creeper is alive. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, I meant to click the Guardian of Kings. And I was thinking of playing it together with the Scarlet Crusader. But you know what? Maybe, um. Maybe this is pretty good, actually. Like, maybe it's a good time to get started playing these guys. Alright. I'm still afraid of AoE, which is why I'm, like, a little hesitant to play a master of a battle. Uh, I think master is good here, though, because then we can clear the board. Like, we do that. That play master Get rid of that evil board elemental. Play a sky golem. Yeah, let's do that. All right, things are looking pretty good. We have many <laughs> do we have another secret? Oh, okay. Well, now we know her hand. Don't have to be afraid of anything really, other than a top deck. But that's less scary. Blessing of Wisdom. Um, how do we want to do this exactly? Mm, too bad you didn't have a death round minion. I think I kind of want to draw a card. And then let her trade into that. Uh, oh. 
Do I want to do this? Yeah, I want to do that. She can kill both of these, but that's okay. We'll still have plenty of stuff left over. And we are basically forcing her hand. I mean, of course, if she chop decks a flame strike, then she might actually win. Hmm. All right, no such thing. Yeah. Oh, turtle. That's not too bad. And we have five. Oh, poor guys. One of you have to be sacrificed every single turn. That's just. That's just the rules. We must cleanse the sun well. Let's just get stuff out there. Try and hurry this up. But hey, at least she is not wasting time like those druids from the last video. Alright. Do you got anything? Nope. And then we have lethal, I believe. Yeah, pretty simple. So let's do it. Yeah, we. Oh! <laughs> Need to make sure I don't attack the wrong one by accident. Alright, so we have to three wins, I think, so far. No losses. Good start. I'll definitely take it. Let's see if we can make it up to four, or maybe even five wins here. Yeah. Alright, what do we got? Hmm, someday they should make the wheel land on something different than a worthy opponent. I guess if they're gonna do that it's gonna be on the 1st of April, which is coming up. So maybe we'll see it then. Or make some kind of mini game on the wheel or something, because now the there was a patent on minigames, I think, on loading screens that has run out or something like that. Oh, and I, I, I have copyright? I don't even know. I'm no lawyer. Okay, so let's see. We have a two-drop. Let's keep that. See what else we can get. Hmm. Man. Mad scientist. So much wasted potential. Why couldn't we get, like, an Avenge or something in the deck? Mechwolver. Well, we don't have any other mechs in hand. Let's go with the Brewmaster here. Hmm. Ah, maybe we should have saved the coin since we don't have any free drop. Yeah. I like to get something out early. At the very least, we do have a lot of 2-drops, so we can play a 2-drop on turn 3. Which, you know, it's not optimal, but it's not terrible either. Let's play the Haunted Creeper here. Only we had some mechs in hand. Like, if we had the Shredder, then the Mech Warper could have been amazing, yeah. And she just used the Frost Bolt, so she's less likely to have one for the Mech Warper. Um, oh, Musto is perfect here, so we can get rid of that adventure up before it gets buffed and you know what it's pretty rare for mages to have arcane explosion even though that would be the exact card she wants here that or a pyromancer or something all right so next turn we can do blessing of kings maybe Alright, let's see. Oh, Storm and Champion would be great, but a little too expensive here. I think Blessing of Kings is the way to go. And we'll just do this. Go for the face here. Are we gonna kill that one? You know what? I think we are. I don't care about those spiders anyway. And the thing is. Sure, the Silverhand recruits don't have any more value for me than the Spiderlings because they don't have a Quartermaster. But she doesn't know that. So there's value in me keeping them because it just makes her more scared of them. Like, she's probably thinking, oh my god, if she has, he has Quartermaster here, I'm gonna be toast. Well, I don't, unfortunately. 
But let's see. Um, play this. I mean, ah, not too excited about this. I guess just kill that right, and then um, play one of these. And do we play a guy, or do we play something else? Uh, let's go for a little bit of value, and also just in case that she has like an AOE coming up or something, I would like to have some minions ready to play after that. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's a pretty low value ice lands. Uh, we have all our low value cards as well. Value, value, value. Well, let's kill that one. And... Then you'll play a guy. And Flame Strike could be coming up, so. Let's play the Mad Scientist. Just to give like, fear into her heart. <laughs> well, she'll find out that, well, we don't have any secrets. I just like to mess with people. Uh... Wasn't that slightly misplaced? I don't... Well, okay. Anyway, let's play here and... I guess we'll play the Stormwind Champion. I think that's the best one here. Then she can't kill anything with... Fire Blast. D didn't she just... She only had two minions with the... <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine for us, I suppose. Okay. Well, that... As a Drake was exactly what she needed, but... We are fine. Mm, I'm gonna kill that with these two. Oh, actually these two, I guess. I'll keep this one around. Could panda back this one, but maybe do it next turn instead. Then again, what are we gonna do this turn? If we can't play panda, we don't. Maybe just play like some small stuff. Again, I don't want to play too much. Ah, you know what? Let's panda it back. But then let's do, let's attack before we do it like this. Alright, so now she does have Flame Strike, at least we will still have our champion data. Okay. Blizzard? Mm, no. Okay, so that's all her cards. And it looks like we're gonna play a Stormwind Champion again, right? I think so. Then, uh, we run that into... <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Okay, so that's four wins, I believe. Let's see if we can make it to five. All right. It's going pretty smoothly so far. People are saying Arena is getting tougher, but actually, I haven't faced that much tough competition lately. But honestly... I don't play enough for it to be statistically relevant, so... Eh, never mind that. Arena is about the luck of the draw for the most part. Of course, skill is very relevant as well, but what I mean is... You can get so unlucky, like the best players in the world can go into Arena, get zero wins. The worst player in the world... Okay, maybe the worst player in the world would struggle getting 12 wins, but an average player can certainly get 12 wins. Uh, okay, so, let's see, we have these two, a mech together with the mech, uh, yeah, let's get rid of the mad scientist. This looks reasonable. Hmm, play the mech wall button two, then the shield minimum will only be one, but doesn't really help us that much. <laughs> I guess 
If you play the mech wolf on turn 2, then we play that on turn 3. Or... Or we could play... Okay, right. So if we play mech wolf on now, the next turn we can play shield bot and hero power. Yeah, okay. I'll help this a little bit. Of course, it also depends on... Oh... Okay. Well, I think... Hmm... Let's get this one out. I have a bad feeling about it being Noble Sacrifice, but you know what? It's okay if it is. Okay, so it's not Noble Sacrifice. The thing is, if it was Noble Sacrifice, we would have gotten rid of one card and we would still have the Mech Warper even though it wouldn't, of course, be as healthy as before. But it looks like it's Avenge. Could also be Redemption, actually. Redemption makes perfect sense with a shield, but... Hmm. Do we want to play... Shattered Sun Cleric? Let's see. Is it Redemption? No. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. And um, the nice thing is that, say now he wants to play the true silver champion or something, he will basically be forced to kill the silver hand recruit with it. Of course, the bad thing would be if he had consecration, but thankfully he didn't have that. Alright, so looks like we're gonna get two. Wow, so many shields. I wish we had a Blood Knight. Um. Right. The battle. Let's do this. And see which card we draw. Sure, we lose it too, but. That's okay. We drew two cards with the blessing. Uh, so Avenge is actually a real pain, because that's going to make that one very scary. It'll make it a 5-4, so it wouldn't quite kill a Fen Creeper. Mm. Alright, so let's play that. Do that. And then, I think I... Want to get rid of the shield on that one. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a blood knight in there with all these shields. Let's see what he got. Hope he doesn't have a car hammer. That would actually be pretty bad. The problem is... I guess we have to run this one into it. He's definitely ahead here. Thankfully, we have some decent cards. Um, right, we can play this. Let's clear the board here. Do that, that. Do we want to hold on to the panda? To, I think we want to hold on to it to panda something back later on. Let's just play the this one here. And, and of course he's gonna think there'll be a secret coming out of it. Little does he know. Wow, what a nasty surprise we have for him. Wait, no. That's actually... That's a good thing for him. Um, Alright, so here's that one. We cannot kill it. Which is unfortunate. But... Let's play a Sky Golem. And just take it from there. Let's see what he does. What do you got for us? Ah, Consecration would be nice, right? It's just... No AoE. Hmm. No, oh, man. He just keeps making me wish I had Consecration. Let's, uh... We need to kill that one, so let's see what we get here. Okay. Interesting. Um, that's not really that great, though. 
like he can kill but then if he killed this one then it might be tough for him to all right and also we could protect it with a taunt that way he can't really get to it yeah if we do that and let's go for tempo here let's play that one if he does have consecration he could do consecration run that into that run that into that but then we still have our ambusher like so he doesn't get value out of the death rattle in that instance either he would need some very specific combinations of cards to really make it happen. Like an Owl plus True Silver could do it, of course. But... I like this. I might just Panda back that Ambush next turn. Like, attack something with it, then get it back up into the hand. Um... Oh, I see. Okay, well, uh, we see, like, as I said, we still have our ambusher, so... It is all right. And of course, I still... This is like... If only we had consecration. Well, let's kill that. And then, I think we take it back home. And then we can, like, play it when it's, like, top deck wars near the end. And when we only have one minion on the board anyway. And then let's play... The Guardian? Or do we play the two other ones? I, I like the Guardian here. I just don't like this Shredder so much because he can kill the first form so easily with the Scarlet Crusader anyway. And then if you're unlucky, we get something with one health out of it. And if you're unlucky, he plays Sylvanas. <laughs> it might not be so bad though. Oh, okay. Right, I mean, I guess he's gonna steal a 5-1, which is definitely not ideal. No, it is not. But what if we play Hero Power first? We can try and get... see if maybe he will, um... he'll get that instead. Let's kill that. And then do this. Ah, uh, well, that's not optimal. Definitely not. Guess we just play the Shredder and the Spider Tank here. Okay. Yeah, that's too bad. It would have been much better if you just have gotten the 1-1. One, one. Unless, of course, he has a Quartermaster ready to go. <laughs> Let's see. Well, he has a Consecration. Not fair. Hmm. Well, that's a decent minion to get. Let's see, is it... I think he's probably gonna... Well, he might... Hmm. Well, let's see what happens here. Is that like a Blessing of Kings or something? Did he attack? Yeah, that's Blessing of Kings. Okay. Well... Oh boy. You're getting kinda low here. Hmm. I think we gotta kill what we can. Do that, and then play Sunwalker plus a guy. And then hope we can, you know, kill that with the Sunwalker and the guy. Just hope he doesn't have another Consecration, because then he can clear the board rather easily. It's a pretty close game. It really comes down to which cards we both have here. So... We could pan that and play the replay the Sunwalker. I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, 
Uh, it does lead to... Hmm... No, no, it's fine. Let's do... That. Just wish we could also play a guy, but... That's just not how it's gonna be. Maybe kill that one. Just so... No. That's... Let's go for the face. Okay. Hmm. Don't have anything good, please. Well, that's not too terribly good, so I'm fine with that. And then I guess we're gonna kill the Yeti with this one. Hmm, maybe it's time to play that Ambusher next turn. Since it looks like we're still gonna have our Taunt alive. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Well, it turns out this is actually a really, really close game. So... Now I wish I could heal this one up, but... Because we don't have our taunt anymore. Because we're gonna clear the board. Um, okay, so... You know what, yeah, let's clear the board. Do that, 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 and then let's go for the ultimate tempo play here. There we go. Hmm, he only has two cards and we have three fairly solid minions on the board. Wow, that's too bad, he's gonna get another card from that, but it's fine. No big deal. So let's kill that. It's a little slow going here at first until we establish our might. I think we just end turn here. Just in case he has like an equality combo or something like that. There's no reason to go... Oh boy, that could have gone a lot worse. Okay. At least we can, yeah, we can kill that. It's like the guy killer now. Oh, fortunately, the Scarlet Crusader is not good against guys. Let's play. I think maybe actually do this. It's good. This one is not good. Two free taunt. Not gonna help us. I think I actually like the ambusher here. Because I don't mind getting any minions back to my hand. Like if you look at my board here, like I would love to get these minions back. Yeah. Alright. Well, I guess we need to be a little careful, but nah, he's gonna go for board control. That makes sense, right? He's getting too low to do anything else. Um, he doesn't have any Defil minions. We need to kill that. We can't suicide this one, so that's not even something worth thinking about. Need to kill that and we could kill that, but I don't really care for it. And again, I don't mind him like returning the ochre or something to our hand. Totally fine with that. Let's play these. Alright. Now I guess if he gets double Hammer of Wrath, like Hammer of Wrath into Hammer of Wrath, he can win here? <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't get exactly those cards. That would be pretty sad. The question is, if he got a Hammer of Wrath, 
would he go for the face with it, like hoping for the lethal, or would he try to go for port control? I'm thinking he would probably try and kill the ambusher with it. Well, let's see. What do you have there? Oh, oh an owl. Well, that's not scary at all. Ah, uh, he's gonna, like, how much damage do we have? Yes, 6, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15. They're not quite lethal, unfortunately. Alright, so we have to go for port control again. Uh, this time... I want to clear all of it. So, let's do... Yeah, let's just go for this. If you insist. If you have plenty of guys. Then go for the face. Get the tiger out. And you know what? Let's get a taunt out. Just in case he gets like I guess hammer of wrath into true silver champion. This saves us against that. Or oh, Leroy Jenkins. Potentially. Oh boy. Close, right? If it had been a Hammer of Wrath into an Ardian Commander, for example, it could have been our doom. But it worked out. So let's do this. And that. And... Is that 5-0? I think it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.